Hi everyone, my name is Arza Sajatpur from University of Manitoba and today I present a paper titled No Crossing Matching of Online Points. Actually, this is a shared work with JITBOS from Carleton University, Paul Skarmi from Bangorian University, and Stephen Drosher and Shahin Kamali from University of Manitoba. Matching problem is uh, one of the fundamental topics in combinator rates. And when it comes to computational geometry, matching points has so many applications in real world and it has been studied very well. The input of the matching problem, matching point problem, could be a set of uh, monochromatic points in general position or a bichromatic setting in which half of the input are red and the rest are blue. This problem also varies in its objective. For example, one might be interested in minimizing the total length of matching, while the other might look for the maximum number of match points. So, the non-crossing matching problem has been defined as follows. Uh, here we look for the maximum number of match points so that the line segments between them do not intersect like the provided picture here. This problem uh, has been studied in offline setting. Actually solving the offline setting is really straightforward. It can be solved in big O of n like n time for an input of size n in both monochromatic and bichromatic cases. The Offline algorithm in monochromatic case uh, works by sorting points, for example, based on their x coordinate, then it can reach to the perfect matching, which means to match all points except possibly one. In bichromatic setting, uh, also by using the well known ham sandwich theorem, it's, po it's possible to, ha uh, to have a perfect matching. And note that in both these cases, the time complexity cannot be improved under the uh, uh, offline setting. Uh, however, in this study, we studied the online variant of problem. And first, let's look at the definition of non-crossing matching in monochromatic setting. In this case, the input is a set of one is a sequence of one color points in general position that are generated in an online manner like the provided animation here. Once a point is generated, the online algorithm can leave it unmatched or match with an existing unmatched point like this. And uh, it's important that the provided line segment doesn't cross. The interesting part of online algorithm is that once a point is matched, it never can be unmatched in future, which means the decisions are irrevocable. Um, the bichromatic case is somehow similar to the monochromatic one. However, here half of the input are red, which are given in advance, and the rest are blue, and they're provided in an online manner. Again, once a blue point appears, the online algorithm can leave it unmatched or matched within the red uh, point. The goal in both these cases is to find the maximum matching. Um, the standard uh, framework for comparing online algorithm is competitive analysis where number of match points by online algorithm compared to the optimal offline variance. Besides, in the offline solution, number of match points is always n. So, we express the results of online algorithm as number of match points, which is fraction of n. n. And in addition to the purely online matching points problem, we considered the online algorithm with advice. And for all the variants of the problem, we provided upper and lower bounds. 
Our first result is related to monochromatic setting, which indicates at least roughly two thirds of points can be matched uh, uh, by an online greedy algorithm. The greedy property actually makes sure that the online algorithm never leaves the new point unmatched in case if there is an option to match with. In order to prove, we consider the final matching of a greedy algorithm. Then we extend the line segments in an arbitrary order to form some convex regions. The greedy property actually implies that there is at most one unmatched point per convex region. Otherwise, uh, they should have been matched. And this ensures the number of unmatched points is no more than the number of convex regions. And the theorem follows. In next step, uh, we provided a lower bound for this case and we showed there is no deterministic online algorithm can match points more than the grid does. To do so, we consider the adversarial input and define critical regions as a red area in this picture. Adversary actually keeps adding points in critical regions. And finally, at some point, the online algorithm decides uh, to match, for example, point 8 to point 5. And then the adversary updates the critical region such that at least one unmatched points become invisible to the future points. Here point four, points 4 and 6 are invisible to points 9 in new critical region. And the number, uh, numbers here actually indicates the index of points in the sequence. Therefore, there is at least one unmatched point for each match pace. In next part, we studied the biochromatic setting and showed that the greedy algorithm can match at least log and blue points with red ones. We here considered the greedy median algorithm once the first blue point given as x uh, arrives the algorithm creates a list of eligible red points sorted by angular ordering to match with at first this list includes all the red points then the algorithm uh, decides to match x to the median of list which is point 2 here in the worst case the provided line segments bisects their red points after uh, creating a matching. So the number of future match points decreases by a factor of 2. Then when a new point uh, y appears, the list is updated and again the algorithm selects the median one to match with and at the end at least n minus 1 over 2 blue points are matched by the greedy median algorithm. It's also easy to see there is no online algorithm can synthetically uh, match more than a logarith uh, log n points. Uh, to, in order to prove, let's consider the adversarial input again, where n red points located on an arc of a large circle and blue points are generated online on a similar arc but in the opposite side. Once two points are matched, the adversary updates the critical region to the red area in this figure, which includes less than the uh, half of the red points. Hence, each time the number of potential red points uh, decreases by a factor of at least two. In following, I'll explain our results under the advice model and provide a big, big picture uh, of proofs. I'm not going into too much details here. In the advice model, actually some bits of information about the input is provided by an offline oracle who knows the entire input. 
in this model, we always look for the number of sufficient and required advice bits to achieve an optimal solution. In this case, the optimal solution is to match all points. In monochromatic case under the advice setting, we showed a linear number of bits of advice is sufficient. In order to prove assume an offline packing where points ordered by their x coordinate and consecutive points are matched, for each point uh, x, the advice is either, either 0, 1, or 2, which are represented by brackets in the picture. 0 indicates if the partner of x comes later, so once it arrives, we leave it unmatched for future while uh, one in the case its partner has come before and uh, located on its left so x is going to match with the rightmost point on its left and similarly if the advice is two we matched x with the leftmost unmatched point but on its right and besides uh, we proved that the logarithmic number of bits of advice is required for perfect matching in monochromatic case. We we'll skip the details here of the proof, but here are some highlights. Assume all points are generated on a circle. We can define a family of sequences which all uh, share perfects and uh, only less two points of them are different. Then, we prove there is no three sequences that can receive the same advice. And finally, in the last part, we studied the biochromatic case under the advice setting and proved a theta of n like m is both sufficient and required to reach to the perfect matching. The upper bound is easy to get. Given that uh, you can explicitly indicate the red partner of each blue point in an optimal matching with big O of log n bits of advice. We also provide a family of n factorial sequences, each require a distinct advice for perfect matching. This, re this results in, uh, in a lower bound of big omega of log n factorial for the advice size. In summary, uh, we considered both deterministic online algorithm and online algorithm under the advice setting for monochromatic case and biochromatic one. In monochromatic case, the purely online algorithm can match roughly 2n over 3 points and that is the optimal solution. In biochromatic setting, however, like n minus O of like n points can be matched, and this is optimal too. Under the advice setting, uh, in monochromatic case, 1.59 uh, bits of advice are sufficient, while like n bits are required for perfect matching, which there is a gap between the upper bound and lower bound here. And in biochromatic case, meanwhile, theta and log m bits of advice is both sufficient and necessary for a perfect matching. And here are some references and uh, that's it. Thank you for listening. Stay safe.